What's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to an episode of The Body Beat Down. I'm Michael, your insane host. First things first, I want to throw out uh, a couple of shout outs to some channels that I watch and support. <clears throat> By watching and supporting, I mean I give them watch time, I give them thumbs up, I give them comments, and I try to watch all their videos that they put out. So whether it's long videos or short videos or whatever. I try to support them as best I can. Uh, I even try to share <clears throat> uh, try to share their channels on my Facebook. Not that it helps really because I don't have but like 30 friends on my Facebook. So, but I do what I can, guys. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Viking Samurai. Uh, he has a great channel, as you might can tell by the name. It's focused on like martial arts. Uh, he does interviews with actors and. Uh, writers and directors and uh, he does a lot of cool stuff like that with you know the concerns like the old action stars and old uh, martial arts movies from the 80s and uh, some of the 90s stuff you know from Van Damme to Seagal and uh, everyone in between so uh, he does some pretty cool stuff there and he lives he lives the healthy lifestyle he has a great physique he's natural he's healthy and uh, he promotes good stuff and uh, he does some really interesting content whether it's talking about movies or having some interesting uh, interviews with some interesting people and uh, secondly I want to give a shout out to Mac Bean Scottish Fitness uh, he's an older gentleman that I follow on YouTube as well uh, he does some cool videos like I do with fitness and a little food related stuff here and some little discussions and some things along the way and uh, he's an inspiration to me because he's about 10 years older than me and uh, he's a big strong dude so uh, that means a lot that uh, that shows that you can keep pushing forward and keep doing better and uh, getting better with age uh, and uh, not giving up and if you stick with it you too can be a Mac Bean Scottish Fitness also third channel I would like to give a shout out to is Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Uh, as the name suggests, he does Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. And he has one of the best amazing gyms I've seen and it's spread throughout his whole house. And uh, he has all kind of equipment from some commercial grade to mostly all, you know, mostly home grade stuff. And he does amazing little hacks and different ways of using the machines and different things and goes over them and does reviews of them and does all kind of cool stuff and even uh, sometimes periodically he'll uh, do like a workout video as well but mostly he does like you know introducing pieces of equipment and, and uh, showing all kind of crazy ways to use it so uh, he's a, a really cool channel and positive influence and these are the channels that we need to push out there and uh, try to get social media and YouTube and all these platforms filled with good positive decent information and content from decent people now having said that like share subscribe comment also please to the body beat down that's me Michael once again your insane host all right on to business today is arm day Whew. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of video in because I just did an arm day last week a video and I don't want to bore you to death but I might uh, show a clip here and there if I go up kind of heavy on some dumbbell curls or do something different or interesting with something else I do have a couple of things planned today that are not normal for me to do necessarily so I made video of those parts and uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a little something today guys okay so stick around and uh, get ready to pump those guns <sighs> big old guns guys all right stick around all right, so I told you I'd go ahead and film a little something if I got to a little heavier dumbbells. So we're doing 50s now, standing alternate curls. I've warmed up real good. Let's hit some 50s. See how we do, guys. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, 
seven, seven, eight, eight, whoo, pretty nice and clean, I'm going to do one more set of the 50s, and then I'm going to work my way down, stick around guys, there's more to come. with single arm. I don't know if I've done it with double arm. Please forgive me if I have. Uh, whenever you do so many exercises and different movements and things, you kind of forget what you've done. But uh, I got my handles connected to the low pulley with a chain and uh, we're going to do some uh, lightweight curls just to finish up my bicep workout. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are pretty interesting. Uh, I like the way those feel. Uh, since I got these handles, I've been using them a lot for tricep and bicep. Uh, they just feel pretty good compared to like solid bars or fixed bars or, or those type of things. And uh, let me show you something. three days later. With these kind of handles, uh, you have a lot of range of motion, a lot of twist that you can do uh, whenever you're doing the movements. So you'll notice that I was kind of close like this, almost like maybe a spider curl or something like that. And, uh, but you could, uh, you know, I could have uh, put them out like this as well. A lot of that depends on uh, the chain length or the cable, whatever it is that you're using and uh, just kind of what you're going for. But, uh, that's what's kind of cool about these kind of handles. They're so versatile in every movement. So I'm going to do a couple more sets of these just to kind of burn up the biceps. And then I'm going to do some uh, tricep workout. And basically I'm going to show you maybe one or two things with that. And that's about it. So stick around guys. Appreciate you. All right, guys, a good bicep workout. Got that done with my arms. I swear they're about 34 inches. I'm not even kidding. They're about 34. So now we're on to triceps. And today I'm gonna to do a movement that I normally do with dumbbells and uh, they're skull crushers. I do laying down skull crushers where you lay down, you have a dumbbell, you bring it back behind your head and you come up like so. So today I'm gonna to do them with an easy bar and uh, see if I can do them uh, decently enough and get some weight going on. Uh, whenever I use the dumbbells, I go up as heavy as the 100 pound dumbbells. I use one dumbbell, not two. Uh, I wish I could use two, like so. <laughs> but uh, no. Anyway, we're gonna use the easy bar, and that's what we're gonna get a video of, because I never do this. So let's get that going, guys. Stick around. Okay, hopefully we're gonna get this in the video decently enough. Uh, I don't have any other real way to use my bar other than setting it on my lap and then taking it back. I don't have nothing to sit it on and uh, the bench isn't quite long enough for me to rest it on the bench and then try to pick it up from behind me. So we're going to do what we can and see how we feel. Again, I never do these. discomfort in my elbow 
Uh, keep in mind, I have tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. One's up here, one's in the bottom. So uh, sometimes some of these movements really aggravate me. And even when you see me doing curls, it's all I can do sometimes to even do that. So uh, I'm gonna see what I think. I'll do another set and uh, I'll go from there and see what I think. I may switch back over to the dumbbell. Stick around guys. Okay, what I'm gonna do is try a narrow grip on the easy bar and see how that feels. And uh, we'll go from there guys. Uh, again, there's a million different exercises that you can do, different, different movements per body part. You don't have to stick with one just because. Uh, if it doesn't feel right, then maybe move on. So we'll see. I gotta say that felt quite a bit better and uh, you got to keep in mind your range of motion or uh, how you're performing the exercise sometimes I forget to go back and kind of stretch out the triceps uh, when you go back sometimes I stop a little before so I got to remind myself sometimes through the movement and you might have to do that too sometimes we kind of get lost in what we're doing and we're not thinking about exactly working that muscle correctly and that even happens with people like myself that have been working out off and on for a hundred years. So let's go on to another set. I think I'm gonna stick with this and do the narrow grip because that actually felt pretty good. Stick around guys, we'll see you in a little. All right, we got 85 on the bar now. <clears throat> Hey guys, surprise, surprise. I thought I would do one more thing. I'm doing something a little different here. Uh, these are called either French press or close grip press. I don't really know. Um, I could have Googled it. That's what she said. But I'm using the Smith machine for this. And I've already done a couple of sets, but uh, I just wanted to take you along and uh, uh, show you what I'm doing for my finish up on my triceps. I'm only doing like sets of six. So let's do this. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you that. That's a, a movement I may have done maybe once. I don't even know. Like I said, it's hard to keep up with them. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that little movement there. Leave comments, suggestions, ideas for videos, all kind of good stuff, guys. Hang in there. Ooh. Well, guys, I think that's all I'm going to record today for my arm workout. Uh, we've seen a lot of these movements time and time again. Uh, not that everybody in the world has seen them, but most people have seen them. So, uh... I wanted to experiment, of course, with the skull crushers, with the easy bar. It's been probably 20 years since I've even done with the easy bar. And, uh, and those double uh, handle curls that I showed you, uh, I really only just did one set of those just to kind of burn out the biceps just a little bit. And because uh, I didn't even have those roped down, that's just something extra I kind of wanted to do. So at this point, I'm gonna finish up my tricep workout. Uh, everything else uh, you're gonna, you've seen a hundred times. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you tuning in uh, to another episode of 
Put the body beat down with me, Michael, your insane host. Hope you find a little bit of something in the channel. Go to the playlist. In the playlist, you're gonna find every body part, almost every body part, listed. And videos in each of those, you're gonna see discussion, uh, a discussion playlist and a random playlist. And they might have some just discussion or random stuff in there. So. Again, the three channels that I gave a shout out to earlier in the beginning of the video, Viking Samurai, Mech Bean Scottish Fitness, and Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Check those guys out, they're awesome. All right, like, share, subscribe, comment, all oh, that good stuff to the body beat down. Me. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Let's get this channel to 10 million subscribers. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!